Happy New Year and thanks for joining me on my living room floor. I know it's been a hot minute since I last posted, but thank y'all so much for being patient with me. And as you can clearly see from my wine glass, your girl is tired. May 2021 bring you a lot of joy, blessings, peace, and please take care of yourself. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications. And without further ado, let's get right to it. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, these past few months, I've been going through my own self-healing. 2020 has forced me to sit down and address some things that I thought were already resolved. I've been working through my own trauma, codependencies, anxiety, depression, and all that jazz. So I really needed a minute to sit down and tackle these things because each day is different. As black women, we are constantly putting on a brave face while struggling behind closed doors. Which brings me to my next topic, protect black women. For centuries, black women have been the backbone of society. And as big of a task as that is, we're still undervalued. It's so ironic to me how women are fighting for equal rights when black women are still fighting for basic rights. I'm not here to give you a history lesson but consider this your reminder to protect black women. I don't like how y'all treated Megan the Stallion. Apparently there was a party and both Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion left in the same vehicle together. At some point leaving the party, an altercation had occurred and Tory Lanez shot Megan the Stallion. The internet went into uproar and immediately came into the defense of Tory Lanez. Some suggested Megan looked perfectly fine considering that she was twerking. Really? After several weeks of recovery, Megan Thee Stallion did go live and confirmed that Tory Lanez had indeed shot her. She said that she had not filed a police report because she expressed her concern for Tory Lanez's safety due to the current climate of police brutality. So even in being a victim herself, she still felt obligated to protect the black man. Historically, black women have been doing this for centuries. We protect black men in any way we can, even at our own expense. When we finally decide to speak out against our own injustices, our names are slandered, our reputations are tarnished, and our credibility is questioned. Black women are 40% more likely to experience domestic abuse by men than white women. Almost 54% of black women have experienced psychological abuse, while 41% of black women have experienced physical abuse, and 2.5% more likely to be murdered by men than white women. Earlier today, I came across a video on this guy going on a rant talking about how his wife deserved to be raped. Yes, y'all, his wife. He scrutinized the outfit she wore and somehow justified her attack. It's so baffling to know that some of our men see these stories and still believe that we don't deserve protection. What? Society glorifies suffering in silence. It adds a new cape of strength to the black women when she suffers in silence. When she finally decides that she could no longer hold her silence, she's seen as a traitor or trying to take down the black man. The most recent issue I would like to address, which is frankly not quite an issue, is that of Chloe Bailey. Most of you know her from the sister duo Chloe and Hallie, who were signed by Beyonce herself. Or maybe you know her as Jazlyn on Grownish. Anyways, Chloe participated in the Busted Challenge, which took the internet by storm. A few weeks later, she participated in a seductive silhouette challenge as a celebratory dance for reaching 1 million followers in the comfort of her own room. Chloe was called a cornball who was desperate for attention and slut shamed. Chloe in tears went live explaining that she was confused because she had never seen herself in that light. She explained she never viewed herself as sexy and she was always insecure about her body. And now she's just beginning to embrace her body. The internet was so quick to point out how much weight Chloe had gained after filming the first season of Grownish. She began to shed the weight and the internet sexualized her. Then when she finally embraces her body, she gets slammed for it. I also wanted to address when last year Tamar Braxton had a mental breakdown and attempted to end her life. Typically there's a sense of compassion, sensitivity, and empathy for the person who ultimately tried to end their life. However, the internet of course felt there was a cry for attention. There's such a stigma around black mental health and it seems more and more people are taking note of that, especially in these times. You all have seen in my previous videos how I advocate and emphasize the importance of therapy and taking care of your mental health. Some healthcare professionals are offering video visits. There is no shame in getting help and there is no shame in talking to someone. I also go to therapy. Therapy has given me the tools to navigate through my rough points and has also helped me with my not so rough points. And I truly believe that once your mental health is in order, everything else kind of falls in line. This video is about protecting black women. So what does protecting black women look like? Number one, letting us speak. 80% of the time we are constantly being censored in some way or another, whether it be the media or at work, let us speak. I'm speaking. I have to I'm speaking. Up. Number two, believe us. 
When we confide in you in a personal or domestic matter, believe us. For most of us, it's already hard enough to discuss. Number three, speak up and advocate for black women. Number four, allow black women to feel sexy and confident freely. We're allowed to feel confident and be sexy around whomever we want without wanting to sleep with you. And number five, physically protect them, even when inebriated in social settings. There are plenty of things you can do to protect black women. Let me know what I missed. Also comment down below and let me know what you have done today to protect a black woman. That's all I have for today. I love you all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.